Right, what's going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny 2 video. Very exciting video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the MIDA multi-tool from Destiny 1. Yes, it made a return. This gun is awesome. It's one of my favorite weapons. Um, we're going to be showing you how to do the exotic questline, how to get the exotic questline and all that good stuff. But before I get into the video, let me tell you about the giveaway, which I'm still holding uh, for the collector's edition of Destiny 2. All you have to do to uh, enter is drop a like on the video, drop a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and enter through the giveaway gleam link in the video description. It takes two seconds. And yeah, back to the video. So the MIDA multi-tool made a return. So let's start off on how we actually start this exotic quest line. It's pretty simple, actually. There's a few things you need to do before you get this weapon. Uh, first of all, you need to get its uh, little brother gun, which will make sense in a minute, and we'll show you how to do that. And then essentially, you need to do the other quest line, which actually gets this gun. So what you need to do first is you need to complete the campaign. That's one of the first things you need to do. Then you need to make sure you reach level 20. And here is where you begin. So your journey begins on Earth in the European Dead Zone. Once you reach level 20, have completed the story, these things called quests will unlock. You want to start up this quest here called Enhance. And uh, pretty much it's in the European Dead Zone. You're basically doing a bunch of quests for Devrim K and uh, that lady with the uh, bird thingy but long story short you want to basically do the chain of quests which this leads you in and eventually spoiler you're going to be ending up killing this massive servitor once you kill this massive servitor you know that's pretty much the end of the quest line um we did it in around 40 minutes so there's a pretty long uh, chain quest once you've done that, you want to head back to uh, Devrim K. He's going to have a reward for you. This reward is the Mida Mini Tool, which is uh, kind of funny. Um, it's a submachine gun. Not that great, honestly. But you need this to get the Mida Multi Tool. So uh, once you have this, you're ready to get the Mida Multi Tool. So once you have this, um, you need to go back to the tower. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys got annoyed last time I did that, but yeah, you want to go to the gunsmith He's gonna have a thing called sight shoot repeat You need to eliminate enemies with precision damage and you need to basically kill enemies uh, without reloading so kill But I think it's 25 enemies with precision damage and then kill three enemies uh, 25 times without Reloading once you do that you want to head back to the gunsmith again um, he's going to have a quest called Under the Hood, and this is essentially a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, he basically tells you you need to dismantle scout rifles. So what you need to do is um, you need to find all your blue scout rifles, any legendaries you have, dismantle them, dismantle the blue ones, dismantle the legendaries. Um, legendaries don't give more than blues. I found out this the hard way by dismantling my legendary Crucible scout rifle. So once that is uh, done and you've dismantled uh, your scout rifles, you're going to have a uh, another one called under the hood and you basically just need to bring this back to the gunsmith so head back to the tower walk up to the gunsmith and he is going to pretty much give you another quest yes we're almost there we're almost there um, this one is pretty simple so what I recommend doing for this one is putting on the submachine gun we got earlier the MIDA uh, mini tool put it on and you basically want to go around um, I recommend the European dead zone and you want to jump, just jump and shoot enemies. You need to get airborne submachine gun kills and you need to get 50 of them. So just jump and shoot the enemy and kill them. I normally just whittle them down first and then jump and shoot. And then there, you're done. That's pretty much it. Go back to the gunsmith, claim your MIDA multi-tool. And yeah, um, I recommend if you want this to drop higher, um, this will drop around 20 light levels higher than what you are. So if you want like a 280 freaking MIDA, uh, make sure you're at least 260 when you do the quest line. But yeah, this thing's a beast. It was my favorite weapon in Destiny 1. Uh, favorite weapon in Crucible as well. I'm going to be showing you guys some Crucible gameplay. I'm not insane at Crucible, so uh, bear with me. But this gun is awesome. Uh, probably one of the best guns uh, out right now to be using in Crucible because pretty much nobody has uh, decent guns. So you're just able to whittle people down, shred them from miles away, and they can't do anything about it. But yeah, let's take a look at the perks here real quick. So, 
let's take a look here real quick at the uh, perks on the Mida multi-tool. So yeah, we have uh, the same perks as pretty much Destiny 1. We've got uh, the intrinsic pick being this weapon boosts movement speed. We've got corkscrew rifling, high caliber rounds, Mida radar, that's my favorite, and hand laid stock. The only thing they didn't include in this is the hair trigger. So I have noticed that the uh, pulling the trigger like before it's kind of hard to explain if you've never used a miter but obviously before if you were to basically just put any pressure on the trigger it would fire the miter and essentially you could fire it as fast as you could pull the trigger so yeah um that's the only thing that they've changed uh, other than that it's a freaking great gun uh for crucible right now if you want to just dominate pvp so uh yeah go get this miter uh pretty much anyone can get it and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, make sure to go into that Collector's Edition giveaway. If we can reach 4,000 likes on this video, that would be awesome. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.